Hello everybody and welcome back to another OpenGL video. Today we're going to be installing a font rendering library that will allow us to project fonts, uh, custom fonts, any sort of font that you want uh, onto the screen. Um, so we're going to be using the free type library uh, which uh, is a library that essentially loads a bunch of character glyphs or glyph images into bitmap uh, images and um, the reason why this is necessary is because when you look at your terminal, um, so the bash or whatever, uh, there's only 256 possible characters, and that's the Unicode font. Um, it's also called the bitmap font, and that that's kind of short-sighted or uh, not large enough for something as large as, say, a game, where you might need your custom fonts or uh, something like a mathematical symbol, accents, uh, some Mandarin or something like that. So with with this free type library, we will be able to download custom fonts or true type fonts, uh, which allow uh, more characters than Unicode. So there will be uh, larger libraries. Um, and you, you see these true type fonts uh, everywhere, pretty much. The like Arial, uh, Times New Roman, Calibri, these are all true type fonts because they have not only your basic characters, but then they also have. Uh, how many ever you look in Google Drive, add a special character, Microsoft Word, add, add a special character, add a symbol. Those are all part of the same font, and those are all true type fonts. Um, so for this library, I, library, I've already added a section in the installation guide in the tutorial um, in the GitHub repository. Um, you can just go ahead and look at it. It's pretty simple. We, we've, done, we've pretty much followed the same procedure for other libraries at this point. Um, so all you want to do is you want to go to their site, download the, uh, go to the download link, and then go to the SourceForge uh, link there, and then just go ahead and download the latest version. It's going to be a zip file, and um, it's relatively small, I think, but you have to uh, wait for the SourceForge phishing uh, viruses and commercials to pass by. So. Once you actually have that downloaded, um, it's going to come in as a zip file. Go ahead and drag that into some other folder. I have all of my libraries or my external libraries uh, in C slash source slash libs. I have my Flutter and SIMP in here too. Uh, so go ahead and unzip or extract uh, that zip file. And then in here, you're going to find another um, folder called free type. Go into there. Um, now go into builds, and in builds you have, or at least the makers of this library, created many different ways in which you could actually compile the source code. So I'm going to be using Windows and Visual Studio, so I'm going to click in builds, go to Windows, and then VC 2010, uh, and then open up the solution file. So this is going to open us up in Visual Studio, and we will build it like we did with a simp actually. So the only step that we missed out on was uh, doing the CMake compilation because uh, they already had it all configured for us, which is nice. Um, so you see that you have the solution open. Uh, just go ahead and go ahead and uh, change the configuration to Debug X64 because OpenGL is an X64. Um, now do Control Shift B or pro or, um, or Build and then Build Solution, either one, and this shouldn't take too long it, it's not that big of a library so um, now we'll actually have it in uh, this is all built so we just have a dot lib file and include folder and then the uh, dll file so go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and find the um, find your uh, solution folder go into there and then um, go into the linking folder and just where the include and lit library folders are and just leave it there for now. Now go back into the free type folder, uh, go to, um, let's see, objects, then x64, then debug. Um, and this is gonna be where the .lib and .dll files are. So now in uh, the linking folder in your uh, solution directory, go into lib, let's go ahead and create a new folder and I'll call this uh, free type. And all you want to do is just drag over or copy and paste the uh, dot the static library, so the dot lib uh, file from the debug from the built uh, from the results. Um, 
and then go back into the solution directory, go into your project directory and find where you have the uh, other DLL files so the glfw3 and the asymp find that go ahead and copy and paste the free type dll file into that same location so you should have three now if you've been uh, downloading all the libraries as I have um, now the last thing we want to do is do the include directory so back into our linking directory go into include um, now find the include directory in the free type so it's in the root directory uh, or so free type then include and you just want to take everything and drag it over into include. So copy it, paste it, it doesn't really matter. Um, now you might be tempted to put the, the FT, FT2 build and the free type folder, combine them. Do not, you should, they have to be, stay separate and you cannot nest them in another uh, folder, like a free another free type folder. Um, that's just because the, the files are written in such a way that this FT2 build has to be in the root include directory. Um, all right, so now let's go into our actual project. So the OpenGL project, uh, you can close out of the free type project in Visual Studio. Now go into um, OpenGL and I'm going to find my Solution Explorer. Um, and all we're going to want to do here is we want to just change one thing in the properties. Uh, so if you remember, our, the include stuff is already taken care of. We, we've taken care of that because um, Everything is everything that we want as included is just in this include directory So we just need to provide the path to the include directory and then that will link us to all these folders here And then that one free type fi uh, file there um, But we do need to change the linker because we added another library So the library directory is already specified so an in input all you have to say is um, Just in additional dependencies add the entry free type backslash free type dot lib and this path corresponds to um, my linking and then lib which is my library directory and then I just do free type slash free type dot lib so this is the relative the path relative to the library directory and now we just go ahead and click apply click OK and then if we go into a main file uh, we should be able to include everything now so I can go in and go ahead and include ft2 build.h um, and then I should be able to control shift b build it and everything should be uh, working in OpenGL and it is alright so everything is working um, that's all good so I will be going live tomorrow uh, doing some text rendering with this library so um, be sure to be on the lookout for that but that's pretty much it it was a pretty simple library. We've done all this before. Um, but if you get stuck, uh, refer to the instructions that I have here because um, they're. I think it's it's pretty helpful. Um, but anyway, uh, if you have the chance, stop by tomorrow and we'll be putting this library into action. So I will. Uh, I'll see you then. Adios.